Okay, now we're going to look at making the bodice for the shirt and we are going to do this um, by starting off by making a new layer. Um, we're going to call this layer bodice, like so, and click OK. And you can see I've now got three layers. I've switched the, um, the collar layer off um, for a little while. I'm just switching out to the pen tool. And we're going to draw this in just the same way as we drew the t-shirt, starting at top shoulder, bottom shoulder, armpit, okay, and down to the hip. And you can see, uh, to stop drawing, I just hit return on the keyboard. And the last thing that I drew was um, that little grey box on the collar, so I need to just switch this back to the default fill and stroke, um, like so. And now I'm going to just add a little curve onto this point here um, and I'm going to use the anchor point tool to do that. Um, we go and just click and drag and add a little curve in there like that. That's nice. Okay, that's perfect. So what we're going to do now is we are just going to um, switch to the selection tool and deselect and then I'm going to select again. Now that's ensuring that I've selected the whole line. Then I'm going to the reflect tool, positioning my cursor exactly on the center line, like so. Hold the Alt key and click, and that will give me the dialog box to reflect this line, okay? I'm reflecting across the vertical axis. I'm also previewing, and I'm gonna make a copy because I want two versions of this line reflected. There we are. Then I'm going to go back to the selection tool and I'm going to use shift and click to select both lines. So I've now got both lines selected by using shift. Then I'm going to uh, right click join, right click join. And that's exactly the same technique as we used for the t-shirt and there it is with the collar. I'm not going to um, do anything with that at the top because the collar is going there. But I'm going to use the curvature tool to shape the bottom of my shirt a little bit. There we are, just pull that down like that. Okay, so that's got a nice little curve going on there. Okay, back to the selection tool. and. Um, I'm just deselecting and next we're going to make the sleeves and I'm going to start by copying the um, armhole here. Um, I need the direct selection tool first so I'll just switch that out and click on that point there so you can see the handles. Okay and then I'm going to go to edit and choose copy or I could use control or command C and then control and command um, F for paste in front and you can see that I've made this little line double line segment here and I want to join up these two end points here um, and to do that I'm going to right click and choose join okay now you'll notice that I've got this really sharp mitre I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that see that sharp mitre there I want to get rid of that so I'm choosing the selection tool over to the stroke panel and I'm going to change my caps and my corners to round it. I'm also going to do the same thing. I've just selected all and I'm doing the same thing for all the lines in my drawing. There we are. So that looks a lot nicer. Okay. Then what we need to do is we're going to add two extra points on that new path that I've made by joining those two points up. So I'm using the add anchor point tool and I'm going to put one here. Oops. No, it has gone in. I trust, trust it and another one there, there you go, you can see that other point there. And then we're going to go to the, um, just zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to go to the direct selection tool and we're going to grab hold of this segment and I'm going to just pull it all the way down to the bottom of the sleeve like that and then I'm going to grab this point and drag it to the bottom of the sleeve. Okay, now my sleeve needs a cuff in this area um, so I'm going to do that by using the pen tool and I'm going to draw a line absolutely right across. Now you'll notice I've gone over the lines, okay? Everything you were taught not to do at primary school I've just done. Hit return to stop drawing. Now it's absolutely vital that I don't have a fill on this line because we're going to use it as a divider and fills create all sorts of havoc for us. So I'm just switching my fill off 
and then I'm going to go to my selection tool like so and I'm going to um, deselect like so click on oops I'm holding shift so I want to click both those points so I've got the line and the sleeve selected and then I'm going to go to Pathfinder and I'm going to divide and there we have it then I'm going to right click and ungroup and now you'll see that my cuff and my sleeve are in fact two separate items now we need to um, just add some shaping in on this cuff I'm just zooming in so you can see what I'm doing and um, I'm going to start off by adding a couple of points in on the sleeve so to do that I'm going to use the pen tool so I'm going to, oh no, it's the add anchor point tool, I beg your pardon, oops <laughs> add anchor point tool so I'm adding a point here you've got to be quite accurate and there you are and, oops if you're ever slightly off it will come up with that don't worry about it, just try again so I'm just moving those points outwards just to add some shape on the sleeve um, but they're rather sharp so I'm going to add some curve in there I'm going to use the um, the anchor point tool again to add some shape like this so I'm just pulling that handle down and the same on the other side to add some nice little oops wrong way um, add some nice little curves there we are and I could I think a little bit of extra fullness wouldn't go amiss so I'm just going to move those as well I think so direct selection tool pick up the points and just pull them out a little bit more so the sleeve doesn't look too mean there we go and now what we're going to do now I've added our curve is we're going to add some stitch lines onto our cuff um, and the easiest way to do this is to use the um, uh, offset path command here we go so edit path and I'm going to type in in points here, minus one point, because I want my um, stitches to be inside. There we go, so that's the preview. Now you can see it's a rather thick black line at the moment, but that's okay, because we can just pop up to our stroke panel and change that. I'm going to make it nice and thin, 0.25. And I'm going to add a dash line, and the dash is going to be one point. Like so. And... Um, there we go and I'm also going to take the caps and the corners off now I don't need stitches all the way around I certainly don't need them on these ends so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the direct selection tool and just click on those line segments and hit delete or backspace and there we have it so now I've now got stitches on my cuff okay so that should be my sleeve now complete and what I'm going to do is use the selection tool, just marquee select over the bottom, that picks up the whole of the sleeve. And then I'm going to use the reflect tool on that center line again, hold the alt key and click. And there's my dialogue again. And as usual, I'm um, reflecting over the vertical axis and that will give me two sleeves now I'm just zooming in because I can just see it's missed ever so slightly so I'm just going to manually pick my sleeve up and position it so it's a little bit more accurate okay that happens if you don't quite hit the center line spot on there we are I think there we are that's much better okay so I'm happy with that so that's what my shirt looks like so far um, we've got two sleeves and we've got should have stitches on both cuffs and we do indeed and now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this with the collar in place so um, there we go so there's my collar and you can see it's okay, but we are missing um, the front placket. So I'm using the rectangle tool here to draw the placket. And I'm drawing it all the way from the, the point of the collar all the way down to the, uh, the very bottom of the shirt. Now the last thing I drew was a stitch line and you can see um, that 
I need to change that. So I've just changed that back to filled white with a black solid line, one point line. And you can see here that I've not positioned it very well, but that doesn't really matter. Um, what I can do is I can use Illustrator's alignment um, features. So I'm using the um, select tool, selection tool, and I've picked up both and then I'm, there we go. What I've done is I've clicked on this second shape twice and it gives us this thick line. Now that's basically telling us that that's what we're going to align to. So my bodice isn't going to move, but the placket will. And I'm going to use uh, one of these little gizmos up here. This is called Horizontal Align Center. And I'm just going to click on here and what will happen is my placket jumps into the center of the bodice. So I know that those two items are now perfectly aligned. Now I'm going to um, add some more stitches. So I'm going to path, offset path. Now I know this, even though it's converted to millimeters, that will be minus one point. So I'm quite happy with that. So I just go through the same procedure that I went through before. But this time I can use the eyedropper tool to pick up the stitch line so I don't have to go through making it again. Now I've noticed that I've got a fill on here which I need to get rid of and I'm also going to get rid of the fill on um, all the other stitch lines. So I'm just shift selecting them like so and then I can just get rid of the fill in one go. And there it is, done. Okay, so there's my placket in place and um, all I'm going to uh, do now okay, is just centre those dashes it just looks a little neater like so you can see they're absolutely parallel to each other okay zoom back out and now what we're going to do is we're going to add a button so I'm just going to add a very simple button simplest kind I'm just going to add a little circle we'll look at making buttons and using different kinds of buttons later so I'm just going to make um, a small button like so and once again I need to change the fill and stroke so I'm just going to take the dash off here and thicken that line up a little bit okay but not one point it's too small an object to do a one point stroke on there so I've got a, a half a point stroke and now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the buttons um, into place now I've just clicked on there and it's got no fill so I'm just adding a fill oops I've made my line too thick again there we go um, and then um, I'm going to use um, alt click so I'm going to move that up position it as I want it and then I'm going to drag and copy these buttons so if I hold the alt key um, and drag you'll see nothing happens but if I if I don't hold the alt key I should say but if I hold the alt key you can see I get that double headed arrow and um, then I can use um, command or control D to transform again and I'm putting in nine buttons there one two three four five six seven eight nine there we are okay so I'm going to um, sort my buttons out now so I'm just going to move this down here and then I'm going to distribute them evenly. So I'm selecting all the buttons that I want to distribute. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to use distribute verticals. There we are. So all my buttons are now evenly distributed. Although they don't look terribly well centered. So I'm just going to um, have a look at those. And you can see they're just ever so slightly off to one side. So I'm just going to pick them up shift selecting as I go to pick them all up there we are and then I'm picking up the placket and I'm going to click the placket twice and horizontal align center and that's a lot better okay what we're going to do now is we're going to add a yoke um, so I'm going to start off by using oops the pen tool and I'm going to draw a line from the armhole of the sleeve to the center of the mannequin, like so. And then I hit return 
to stop drawing. And then if I click on this, because it's a dividing line, again, it's absolutely crucial that I have no fill on this line. Okay, so I'm just going to um, copy that first. And then I'm going to select both parts, right click and join, like that. And then I must remove the fill. Okay, and then I've used Pathfinder to divide. And then I've sent that to back, right click and ungroup. And there's my yoke in place. And now I'm going to add some stitch lines and um, we know how this goes. Um, I can click, I'm just zooming in, um, click on this shape um, and add my stitches. So the best thing to do is click on the whole shape, whoops a daisy, like so. And I've picked up the wrong shape. Be mindful of which shape you're picking up. I need to pick up the yoke itself and not the bodice. So I'm going to go with this and then I'm going to go to path, offset path and carry on adding some stitch lines. And I'm going to just carry on doing this until my shirt is finished. I'm using the um, eyedropper to do that. Then I'm going to get rid of the lines that I don't want and just keep the ones that I do. So I'll see you when I'm done.